Rose here and welcome to the Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel and welcome to your flow for the holidays. Uh, hopefully you have some exciting holiday plans coming up the next few weeks. Uh, we are going to do a flow that focuses on our core, our core strength for this holiday season flow. Uh, holidays can be a stressful time. Obviously we want it to be a fun time not always the case so this is going to help bring us back to our center back to our core and hopefully relieve some of that stress and get us out of our heads and back to who we are at our center so we'll start in our butterfly or goddess position you can have your legs um, a bit more forward and creating some open space you can if it's comfortable bring your knees or your feet in closer and get a bit more of a stretch somewhere in the middle wherever you're feeling comfortable today and you can do the flow multiple times of course and adjust where your legs are or really focusing on is grounding into the earth with our sits bones reaching tall through our spine extending through the crown of our head and just settling into this open position while we start to activate our mula bandha breath one of the best ways that we can get back into our core, back into our center, is through breathing. So the mula bandha breath, when we think about that, we want to think about breathing, almost like we have a bowl that we're trying to fill. We're breathing and filling that space. And so as we inhale, you can think about trying to fill the space in your legs with your breath. So you're inhaling, and then as you exhale, you're exhaling, you're squeezing all of that air in, you're squeezing it all up and out and exhaling through your nose and when you exhale you want to kind of think about you're like you're trying to fog up a mirror like when you on you know, the mirrors and windows um, but we're exhaling through our nose so we're getting the sound um, the victorious ujjayi sound so of course we're trying to get back into our center trying to get rid of any stressors anything that might be happening in our heads so a great way to do that is to have our victorious sounding breath while we're going through our practice so inhaling here Filling this space with air and exhale, squeezing all of that air in and out with the big victorious ujjayi sound as you exhale. Inhale here, exhale, inhale. As you exhale, really think about squeezing all of that air, getting rid of all of the old air, creating space for new. That's what we want to do when we're trying to eliminate any stress we might have in our life. We want to exhale all the old stuff that we don't need and create space for the new. So inhaling here and exhale. And keeping that breath going as we start to move our spine and wake up our bodies. So inhale, tiny little cat cows here. You can have your hands on your knees or out to your side, whatever is more comfortable. And exhale, round out your back as you exhale through your nose. Inhale here. Really activating all of our deep core muscles, all of this, the core strength right along our spine even as we're using the breath and starting this movement. Last one here, exhale, rounding out through your shoulders. Come back to sitting tall. Now from here, you're gonna inhale, open your arms out wide. You can even hold this for a moment, take a pause and kind of stretch your neck. We of course hold a lot of tension and stress in our neck so finding ways of getting rid of it is very good. And then as you exhale, round out your back again but this time give yourself a big hug. Wrapping right arm on top of left. This is our breath of freedom. Inhale here. Exhale. Remembering to use the Mula Bandha breath of course. And this time holding your inhale, extending your arms. Again, you can stretch your neck. You can even find variations of the arm position, moving them down and up, and stretching that open, and then exhale. Breath of freedom again, but hug yourself with the other arm on top. Inhale. And last inhale. 
This time hold the stretch again. You can play around with the arms and maybe roll your neck one way and the other, really reaching your fingertips towards the earth. You can think about just turning your gaze towards the sky, getting into the neck in a little bit different ways, finding any areas of tension that you might have. And exhale, come back to center, sitting up tall. Using the Mula Bandha breath and taking a couple more inhales and exhales as we just sit in this open position. Now we gave ourselves some a little bit of loving and now we're going to start activating our core a bit more. So knees are going to come together. I can leave them about hip bone distance apart. I'm going to turn this way so you can see. Uh, ground into the earth with your sits bones again. Sit up tall, extending long through the crown of your head. And we'll start taking that cat-cow movement a little bit deeper and start getting more into our core. But we do want to think about using our Mula Bandha breath and moving from our inner core to our outer core. So we're not doing crunches and ab work, but we're going to our deep core and letting that make us strong from the inside out. So inhale here, reach long and exhale. Round out your back. Inhale up. Warming up our spine muscles a bit more to get into our core work. Inhale. This time as you inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, bring fists to low belly for fists of fire. Again, thinking about sitting up tall. Now as we lean back, we're not rounding our spine. We're extending long through our spine and our crown of our head. And keeping our mula bandha breath as we do this movement. Our inner core is lifting us in and up. Exhale, hold it here for a moment. This time, inhale, reach up. Now as you're going to exhale, you're going to twist and open your arms to the right. And twist open to the left. Now as we're doing this again, we're keeping our spine long. You don't have to lean back as far. Just start to open up and using our side body and our obliques. Using our inhale and exhale with this movement to activate all of our deep core muscles. One more on each side here. Inhale, reach up. This time as you exhale, you're going to take your hands to heart center, namaste, and twist so you can get a little bit deeper. Twist to the right. Inhale up, exhale through Mula Bandha breath as you twist to the left. Inhale. If you want to take a little bit of an added challenge, you can even add lifting one leg. So as you twist to the left, lift the left leg. As you twist to the right, lift the right leg. And we're getting a bit of a balance here as we're doing our twist and our core strengthening. Keep this going a couple more each side, really building our inner and outer strength. Last time, reach up, exhale, hands come to heart center. Sitting up tall. Now take your fingertips, plant them behind you. Inhale, long spine, and see if you can lift now your legs. You can glue your legs and knees together. So now we are going to add a little bit more intense variation to this. So tap your toes onto the earth. Rotate to your right hips and exhale. Bring them a little bit closer. 
and you can tap, come to center, tap, rotate onto your left hip, and uh, back to center. Now you can keep doing this, doing uh, one hip twists with a stop in the center, or you can extend your legs out in front of you instead of tapping onto the earth. Find your own pace here, using your Mula Bandha breath, remembering to sit up long through the spine. Just a few more rounds here, really focusing on our core and our core strength. Last time back to center, see if you can hold it, you can even reach your arms up. Inhale and exhale wherever you are, making your way onto the mat for a moment and hugging your knees into your chest. Give yourself some love in here again. You can rock side to side and circle your knees one way and the other. This is your time to give yourself some love and energy and focus on all that core heat and core strength that you just built and extend your legs out onto the mat reach long full body stretch you can even reach right foot and arm a bit longer and then switch sides stretching out all those muscles you just worked you lift your knees back up to center you can uh, try a little rock and roll if you want and just massage out the spine for a couple of rolls. And then from here, if it feels good to you, or you can make your own way up, coming into a forward fold. So start with really bent knees here, and then wave the spine long over your legs, and then coming into your forward fold, extending your legs to that first edge of stretch. And start swaying from side to side, pedaling out your knees, so bending one knee straighter and then the other. Forward folds are a great way for us to get out of our head as well. We just come to that fold and you can think about anything that might be stressing you out or that your brain just won't turn off. Just think about that falling out of your head here and relaxing into the stretch. Exhale. We'll take, I'm going to rotate again so you can see. We're going to take a balance stretch, really challenging our core with balancing, again focusing on our deep center and really our, our core truth of who we are just in this balancing posture. So we're gonna accomplish a lot. So inhale here, prepare. Ground into the mat with your left foot. Lift, we're gonna do a simple one. <laughs> just lift the right leg about 90 degrees. And then for a fun arm variation, we'll just take kind of an L shape with our arm and hold that balance. We are sitting into our heel, really lifting in and up from the earth. Inhale, one more breath here. Exhale, coming back to our forward fold. Inhale, prepare. Ground into the mat now with your right foot, really lifting in and up all of that energy from the earth, sitting back into your heel and your hips as the left leg lifts. Ooh, coming to our L-shaped arms again this time. Left arm is extending towards the sky. Right arm is a perpendicular to the mat. Using our Mula Bandha breath, challenging all of our balance. We're balancing with all of our deep core muscles from the mat all the way up through our core. Inhale and exhale. Again, back down to the mat. Now you can take that variation again or take it a little deeper with me. Inhaling here, prepare. Exhale, lifts the right knee up and this time, 
right ankle places over left knee and really sitting back into the heels and hips this time coming into our fun funky l-shaped arms stretching our outer hip where we also tend to hold a lot of tension couple of breaths here just to sink further into that stretch and that balance and focus on your deep core line as you lift everything in and up and place your right foot back onto the mat inhale exhale wave back down to the earth and trying that variation on the other side grounding into the mat with your right foot this time left knee lifts into the chest and ankle places over the right knee, really sitting back into your hips and heels. Coming to our arm variation, left arm is up. So it's almost like your left leg and right arm could attach if you sat down enough. Focusing on your balance and your center strength as you're holding this balance. One more inhale and exhale and then use that control and balance to bring you back to your forward fold. Waving the spine long over bent knees, finding a comfortable position for your feet. You can even rock back and forth. Wave the spine long forward and then extend Extending the knees, that first edge of stretch. Wave back and forth again. Even bend one knee and then the other, getting a bit more of a twist towards your legs, stretching out any tension you might have. Coming back to center. Really just letting your neck and the head hang. Again, letting any tension or stressors fall out of your mind. And come back to your breath and your center. Inhale here, prepare slight bend in your knees and elbows. You're gonna just roll yourself up to stand. So exhale. You can take as long as you want to get up to the top and reach your arms long. Exhale, hands come to heart center and namaste. We're gonna take one more kind of breath movement before we go on to the rest of our day and holiday season. This is a Qigong move. You're essentially just going to swing your arms around almost like you're in water and you're just kind of moving your hands through water. You can get your whole body involved instead of just moving your arms, bend your knees a little, really feel the fluid motion. Um, you may have seen in other practices where we do the uh, knocking on the door of life. So it's basically that same kind of twisting motion, but instead of knocking on our kidneys and knocking on the door of life there, getting energy flowing. What we're doing is taking energy out of our body, out of our brain, and just coming back to just us and our breath, letting everything else fall away. Come back to center again. Inhale, reaching all the way up to the sky. Big, full body stretch. And exhale. Inhale, hands come back to heart center and your namaste and Anjali Mudra. Feeling that center and that calm from that core strength work that we did, that balancing work, and of course, most uh, importantly, that breath work. So remembering that we can channel our breath and our deep core anytime that we need it, even if it's just a couple of moments of that deep breathing and activating our deep core line. So I hope you enjoyed that flow. I hope you have a wonderful and amazing holiday season. I do appreciate you joining me on the mat here this year. 
I look forward to seeing you again soon. So of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you are on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list. I definitely want to see you again next year, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your holiday season. Namaste.